Hey everybody, welcome to At Home with Gigi. I'm Gwen. Thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is my first video of the new year and I'm so excited to be back. I took a little time off during the holidays and then I wasn't feeling well, so I took a little time to get a video out. And guess what happened during that time? I reached my 1,000 subscriber mark. Yay! Thank y'all all so very much for that. I truly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. So I'm going to give you the details for that $100 Amazon gift card, so stay tuned. But now let's get started. Let me show you these awesome Valentine DIYs that I have created using Dollar Tree products. So let's go. Y'all, we're going to be using this sheet of decoupage paper, and it came from Amazon and this plank and I believe this came from the Dollar Tree not real sure it's been in my stash for so long I can't remember and I'm just going to start by adding a layer of Mod Podge to the plank and I'm just as messy with my Mod Podging as I am with my paint so please excuse the mess but I'm just going to put down a good even coat of the Mod Podge then I'm just going to let that dry completely we're going to be using the iron-on method to attach the sheet of mod, uh, decoupage paper to this plank I'm just going to line up my paper, see exactly where I want the placement before I start ironing it on. And y'all, I love this paper. Isn't it gorgeous? I found it on Amazon last year and just finally I found the time to use it. I thought Valentine was the perfect time. And I'm just gonna use a sheet of parchment paper and place that on top of my decoupage paper. And then I'm just going to start smoothing out from the center. Y'all have all seen me do this. If you're new here, hi welcome i'm gwen thank you for stopping by and i'll explain it to you i just use my iron on the very lowest setting and I, as you can see i start in the center and just smooth my way out it reactivates the mod podge that i have put down on the plank and then it just makes my paper napkin whatever you're going to be mod podging just adhere to your surface and i love this it gives such a smooth clean finish it's so easy no wrinkles no bubbling and it is just wonderful can't wait to show you what it looks like and y'all this is just such a simple and easy diy i'm doing this for valentine's day but it could really be for spring mother's day anything like that and i just love these papers i'm going to use my finger sander to remove the extra paper around the edges because i just love how it looks it gives such a nice clean edge but you can use scissors, your X-Acto knife, whatever you prefer. I also had someone ask me where I got my little iron. Guys, I got that from Walmart a couple of years ago, maybe even three. I will look and see if I can find one and link it down below for you. So just look down in the description box. I'm going to use a little bit of jute twine from the Dollar Tree and just attach it to the back of the plank and then just wrap it around several times on this end. So because this is for Valentine's, I wanted it to have a little bit of a romantic, maybe vintage-y look to it. So it may be even a little bit of a shabby chic look to it so I decided to add some of these pearl beads that came from the Dollar Tree as well and I did wrap a piece of tape around the end of the twine just to make it go through the holes a little bit easier and I just made a pattern of one large bead two small beads but you can use whatever pattern that you prefer just getting my placement where I want it and then I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue and secure it to the back of the plank Because we're going for a really sweet, romantic look with this DIY, I wanted to add in a little bit of a satin ribbon and some of the lace ribbon, you know, that everybody has seen at the Dollar Tree. And I just made a little awareness bow out of both of them, and I'm just hot gluing them to this corner. You know, satin, lace, pearls, how much more romantic can you get, right? It's Valentine's Day, you can't get too romantic. And I wanted to add a heart in somewhere, so I just took one of these little 
like clothespin clips from the Dollar Tree and just popped off that little top part. But it was a little too bright pink, so I'm just going over it with some rose gold pink from Folk Art. And then just giving it one coat, and I thought it just went perfect with the ribbon and the roses. It did have a little bit extra that accumulated around the edges, so I'm just going around with a baby wipe and just wiping that off before I attach it with some hot glue. The color of the heart is not coming across in the video. This doesn't do it justice. It's a very, very pretty color and just matches, or rather complements the rest of the DIY so well. But I think this turned out really, really pretty and just so super romantic and just sweet. It's Valentine's, so, you know, it's supposed to be sweet and romantic, right? But really, this could be used for Mother's Day, for spring, and I am loving these decoupage papers. I've got to pull the rest of them out and do some more DIYs with them. So we are going to make a Valentine's wreath using this heart frame from the Dollar Tree and all of these ornaments that I've been collecting and have never used. Don't you have a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments left over? Well, we're going to use these. So go pull out your ornaments in your wreath form and let's get busy. I'm going to start by wrapping this pink burlap ribbon around the metal heart frame. I want to give my ornaments a good base or something to hold on to when I hot glue them. If you choose not to, you're more than welcome to just hot glue them directly to the wire frame. But like I said, I want to make sure that they have something to hold on to because I don't want them popping off. I just want to say thank you so very much for subscribing to my channel and helping me to get to this 1,000 subscriber mark. I have been doing this almost two years and I don't get to put out videos very often because of my work schedule and life, work-life balance and all that good stuff, but I am so, so very appreciative of you for taking the time to comment on my channel, all the kind words, and just, you're so wonderful, so I want to give back. As I said, once I reach that thousand subscriber mark, and yay, we're there, we're there. Thank you. Now the next goal is 1,500, so yay. I know that's a long ways off, but we're going to get there, and we'll have another giveaway then. But I just want to give you the quick rules and rundown. I'll have everything down in the description box. And as you can see, the details are here on the screen as well. But to be able to enter, you must be subscribed to my channel. Go over and follow me on Instagram. The link's down below and say hello while you're there and also leave a comment on this video answering a question that will be somewhere in this video so make sure you listen for it the giveaway will end on january the 27th at 11:59 p.m eastern time and i'll announce the winner at 10 a.m eastern time on january the 28th you have one week to send an email to me i cannot reach out to you but once I announce the winner, you have one week to send an email. I'll give you a word that you have to go back and edit your original comment and put that word in there. Guys, it's only because there's so many scammers out there and I want to make sure I give you your prize, not some scammer. How will you know if you won? I will put your name in the description box here in my community tab on YouTube as well and I will put it on Instagram so just make sure that you are looking for it you only have one week to get in touch with me and then I will have to choose somebody else I'm excited to be able to give somebody this hundred dollar Amazon gift card and I'm so very appreciative from the bottom of my heart for you my subscribers getting me to this 1000 mark thank you so much If you wanted to, you could stop right here because with the ribbon wrapped around it, it is just really pretty on its own. Maybe add some flowers or little embellishments to it and just stop right there. But we are going to be adding ornaments to ours. Y'all, I've been collecting these pink ornaments for a while now from the Dollar Tree. When 
or at the end of Christmas when everything goes on clearance because I've been intending to create a pink shabby chic Christmas tree and I just never got around to it. So I saw this heart on Amazon and it had ornaments hot glued to it and I'm like, you know what, I can absolutely make that. And so the idea was born. So I've kind of laid out a pattern here of how I want to go around my heart for my base layer. I kind of goof up a little bit. You'll see that in a couple of minutes, but well, it is what it is. Nothing major. I just got my pattern off a little bit and probably if I hadn't said anything, nobody would really notice. But you know, when you're crafting, it's like, oh my goodness, I've messed it up. But anyway, it took a little bit of time to do this, but I had so much fun. And as you can see here, I got it a little bit off right there because I was doing two solids, one sparkly, and got it off a little bit, but it's okay. And I'm just going around, filling in any holes with some smaller ornaments now that I've got the larger ones placed on here. And it this was a little bit of a challenge, trying to figure out how to plug in the holes and make them fit. And I kind of ran out of the smaller ones where the colors for what I wanted because I ended up filling in as you can see with some of the silver that I went and pulled out of my regular decorations and but I had fun and I loved it and I, I hope that you love this as much as I do. So I decided when I finished that it still needed a little bit of sparkle and I needed something to fill in just a few of the holes and cover up some of the areas where you could see the hot glue where I joined the larger ornament. So I'm just taking some of these pearl beads from the Dollar Tree and just filling in and I think that it just gives it that extra little touch and just gives it that little romantic bit because it is Valentine's Day so we want some romance and sparkles and sweetness, right? y'all the hot glue strings was a very real and serious thing and that's why I'm using this old paintbrush and I'm just going around and just dusting off the extra glitter and hot glue strings and just cleaning it up a bit so what do you think is it gorgeous or what I know there is a couple of holes since I've put it up and really looking at it that I need to go back and fill in and I will do that but I love this. I think it's so pretty. I've never created an ornament wreath and I think I'm hooked. I have a whole bunch of extra ornaments that I'll probably create one for Christmas, but I am super duper loving this. And oh yeah, I did create a hanger for the back of the wreath, just using a pipe cleaner and just a bit of extra ribbon. But y'all gotta tell me what you think about a Valentine's ornament wreath. Y'all, we are going to make a cute little valentine sign using a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and some Rust-Oleum spray paint in Sand Dollar. And I've taken it outside and spray painted it. I think I give it two coats, I believe. And then I'm just going to coat it with some Mod Podge and let that dry. And if you watch any of my videos, you know I usually make a mess when I'm using Mod Podge, and which I did this time. I got it all on the rim of the pizza pan, but I just went back with the baby wipe and just wiped all that off. And y'all, I learned a hack, trick, whatever you want to call it to make your scrapbook paper or placemat, whatever you're going to use to fit in your pizza pan. This round from the Dollar Tree fits almost perfectly, so I'm using it as my template because I really struggle with making them fit and I just traced around on the back side of the scrapbook paper and as you can see boom perfect and I was so happy it fits almost exactly it was just a little bit bigger than my circle on the inside but that's okay I made it work and I just had to trim it down just a bit but I was so happy because like I said I really struggle with this and my scrapbook paper came from Hobby Lobby and I've had it probably for a year, just been waiting for an opportunity to use it. So I thought for this Valentine's project, it would work perfectly because I'm going for that soft, romantic, kind of shabby chic look for this video. So I'm loving it. I'm gonna use the iron method again with the uh, parchment paper, just put it down. But I will tell you one thing, 
This is a metal pan. My tablecloth that covers my table is plastic. Put something up under there because I did melt my tablecloth. Luckily, it did not stick to the bottom of my pizza pan, but yeah, you can see now I put a wooden cutting board under there just to help, but I love this method. You see how beautiful it is? It's just such a wonderful finish. I decided I did want to put something on the inside and I'm going to use pearls again. I've used pearls in the other two DIYs. So we're going to do this one. This is a necklace. I've already cut one necklace apart because unfortunately it's just a little bit short and I could not find my fishing wire that I use for stringing things like this. Don't have a clue where it's at. So I'm just going to use plain old thread that I've doubled up and a needle to run these little bitty pearls through and yeah I made a mess but what's new with me and crafting when you're working with beads this little using a needle to help run your thread through those beads makes your life so much easier and I did add just a little bit of hot glue to the end of my thread because no matter how many knots I tied I just could not make them big enough to keep my beads from falling off the end so I just added a little bit of hot glue I guess another hack for this video and it just kept them from coming off the end of the thread now I'm going to use hot glue to attach my beads to the inside of the pizza pan but you can use E6000. My personal favorite is Gorilla Gel Glue if you want a more permanent secure hold but I needed to hurry up and get this to set up so I'm using hot glue. I did cut my string a little too short, so I'm just adding in a couple of little beads just by hand and just hot gluing those in. Okay, this is the question that you have to answer as part of the entry for the Amazon gift card. What do you and your honey do for Valentine's Day? Do you go out or do you stay in or do you not even celebrate it? Let me know down in the comments. I just used my blow dryer and a paint scraper to remove the galvanized part from the little wooden block from the Dollar Tree because I wanted just the galvanized part to go on my sign and I'm just adding Gorilla Gel Glue and a tiny bit of hot glue to attach it to the pizza pan. As I'm looking back at this, I really wish I had painted the outer rim of the pizza pan pink instead of leaving it the uh, sand dollar color because I really think it would have made my pearls pop. I use way too much gel glue on the back of my letters. Y'all don't use that much, but anyway, it oozed out. I'm just using a baby wipe here to wipe up the excess, but it did leave a bit of a residue. Later, I went back with an alcohol pad and rubbed over the letters and it just came right up. I made a little double bow out of some ribbon that came from Hobby Lobby. Now this I bought two years ago, but I did see the same ribbon there last year and I think it's just so pretty and it's just soft and romantic. I thought it would be a perfect fit with my project. And I wanted to add some greenery in because I love to add greenery whenever I use a pizza pan for a project. And I thought it was just a little too big and bulky. So I did cut it down some just to make it fit up under the bow a little better. So I needed something to cover up the center of the bow where I had tied it off with the pipe cleaner. So I'm just going to use this little pink heart that came from the Dollar Tree. You can get them in a packet. It's got like the wooden ones, I believe maybe even some red ones. So I just chose the pink to go with my project and why not? Let's add some more pearls and I'm just going to add one of these large bead pearls to the center of the heart. And that's all I did to this. I think it is so cute and just very whimsical and romantic, but you're going to have to tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. 
Thank y'all so much for being here today. I really, really appreciate you for watching my videos and taking the time to subscribe and like my videos. Don't forget about the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. The details are down in the description box and I will see you next time. Bye.